Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at my 1988 pneumatic Henry HVR 200. Now this is the first generation of HVR 200 with the, um, the stick on face and the slightly um, earlier called um, entry. Now this machine also matches the cream and brown Henry which you can see in the background there. Um, so here is the original toolkit that it would have come with. I'm not, so, I'm not too sure about the small tools though, um, but in literature um, these tools are supplied. However, um, I know probably later variants, I don't know how late, but um, some of these did come with the more boxier 90 styles tools. So here's the tools it has. We have a 300mm combination floor tool. Um, which is the same as the 90s one. We have the, the small tools again, the crevice tool, the dusting brush, the um, adapter tool, and the upholstery tool with the slide on brush. We have the three piece stainless tube set with the thicker um, rings that go around the top with the little circles on the inside. So we've got those, and then we've got the exact same bend. Um, as the later 90s, early 2000s, and even the 80s machines. So the hose it has is a two meter hose with the newer style. So we've got the newer swiveling cuff with the actual locking tabs in it. Um, the earlier cuffs didn't have this. Um, and I'm not too sure actually, these one, these late, later 80s black hoses might not have had this either. Um, as the cream ones have just the this and they don't have no locking tabs, they're just all molded on. But they do swivel but yeah we've got this uh, which is a two meter hose with the newer style um, hose connection um, which has got little ridges on it so we've got that and then we've got the main machine now this used to belong to a uh, fellow collector and good friend of mine adam who um, restored this already so it's very nice and shiny the only thing i've actually done to this is put a coat of wax over it um, when he, he got it from a, I think it was a family friend, um, and that was dusty because it's been sitting around, but he got it from a family friend who had quite a lot of Henry's in their loft, so he kept it for a while and then I swapped um, a vacuum for this. Um, it's got the original style of cable, now it isn't the original cable, but this is actually off a uh, Hoover Turbo Power 2. So it's slightly shorter, but it will do uh, for what I need it for. I don't really use it often. I've also put that on there, which is an original pneumatic MV200 sticker. I've also put this sticker on the back here, which is a I Love Henry sticker, um, which is slightly peeling off, but oh well. Um, we've got the BAB approved, and we've also got the dry operation sticker. Uh, it's a bit dusty, but they're the original style vents uh, in there. lid off. Now uh, we'll show you the filter in a minute. So here's underneath. Uh, again it's a little bit dusty because I've used this and it has been sitting around but you know there we go. Just the underneath that. Now here's the filter. It hasn't got no um, elastic bits on the filter because I actually pulled them off. Uh, they've gone they went really like stringy and they weren't really much elastic anymore so I just pulled them off because I thought they might go in the motor. Here's the tub that it's got. Got a HEPA flow in there, which Adam kindly put in there for me before he gave it to me. Um, it's got a bit of dust in there because I did actually um, use this. And again, it's a little bit dusty in the tub. Um, I did actually use this for, um, well, I did do a, uh, a clean up, well, a vacuum ground with it. That's what I was trying to say. Um, I used it to clean my house. And it did do very well. I used it with the turbo electric tool as well, which was uh, quite enjoyable. So there we go. So let me set it up. Um, we'll get plugged in and we'll uh, give it a run.
So he does run quite well. Um, the motor is pretty smooth for like a 30 year old motor. Um, it is a 800 watt motor, 900 watt total with the power head. But it does run smooth enough. Um, but yeah, there we go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And also, I now have a Amazon wish list. If you wish to buy me anything that you'd like to see on the channel, then uh, please do so. Uh, but you don't have to. Um, but if you do, it it would mean a lot. So there we go. Thank you for watching, and of course, bye for now.